what is up guys it's Kara thanks for tuning into this video I wanted to do another Tech Tuesday video and real quick the elephant in the room is my voice yes um, I'm going through a little cold right now so I'm a little nasally please excuse that but I did not want another Tuesday to go by without me getting this Tech Tuesday video out to you guys I have so many pictures on my camera here and this is the Samsung 3300 I have a full blog post review on this camera if you guys are interested but it does have the flip up screen so you guys you can do your own um, video recording you know vlog selfie styles you know all that kind of good stuff definitely definitely go ahead over to the blog and check out the check out my full review on the camera but this video this video in particular will be all about how I transfer my pictures, my videos, all my stuff from the camera over to the iPad. You can connect it via your cell phone. You can do it through your computer. It does come with the USB plug if you need to connect it to your computer and transfer it that way. But I do want to show you guys the Wi-Fi connectivity on it. So if you guys Okay, so of course for starters you're going to go ahead and turn your camera on. I have this little case that I got from Amazon on top of my camera. It's really an all-white camera. So, again, for more details, more photos of the camera and stuff like that, definitely check out the blog post. But up here is my power button. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut that on, and you will see the image come up there on the screen. Now, at the top, right next to the power button, you're going to see the Wi-Fi button. I'm going to focus, but the Wi-Fi button is right here, right next to the power button. You have the wheel with all your controls on there, but I'm just going to press the Wi-Fi button, and you see it's very clear, but it gives you three options. It says mobile connection, and it's the mobile link, remote viewfinder, and auto share. Now, what you're going to do on your iPad here, first you're going to go to settings and you're gonna hit the settings you're gonna go to Wi-Fi and that's the Wi-Fi that I have at home but once I hit the button for the Wi-Fi here on the camera because the camera does have its own Wi-Fi so once I hit that Wi-Fi button here yeah. again it does the mobile connection does have three different options you can use the remote viewfinder which is kinda cool because as you can see here on the iPad itself you can basically just use your device and you can do your focusing you can basically use this as your remote viewfinder so that is a good option and your third option in the mobile connections is auto share so that just means if you take a picture or you start recording video through your camera it will automatically go over to your device whether it's your iPhone your iPad of course your Samsung devices all that good stuff so the three options in the mobile connection is bomb.com I really can't be mad at that. Um, if you guys want me to go into more depth on those other two options, definitely let me know. This is basically about transferring the photos from the camera to the phone, vice versa. Mobile link is what's going to allow us to transfer the photos to the actual thing. And you, you can select files from your smartphone. So you can actually bring photos from the iPad or from your phone over to the camera. Or you can bring the camera photos over to the device over there. So now I just press that to go from the camera to the device. And it has started up the Wi-Fi here. And then shortly, as you can see, the Wi-Fi just popped up there. I'm just going to select that up top. And as you can see, that green button is flashing because it's connecting. And as you can see right there on the iPad, it is now connected. So now going back to the Samsung Smart Camera app, which you're supposed to download. From here, it says application connects to a smartphone, to a Samsung smart camera wirelessly to receive files or capture images remotely you're just going to press OK now this is the screen you're going to get a selection of all the photos that you want to actually transfer over I did do a little mask last night so we're going to just take some of these photos real quick and that's the only thing that sucks I, can't, I hate the fact that you can't just do like a select all running but you do have to select each photo or video separately and one thing I do recommend, it does take a lot of time 
for videos so if you can I would select the videos maybe like three or four at a time because it is kind of fast but now that I've selected all the videos that you can see they do have check marks so I went ahead and selected the photos that I want to transfer over and we're gonna hit the it tells you here you're gonna hit the it just looks like a play button and you're gonna hit that select that and then it's gonna start it says large file transfers may take longer change the photo size to two I guess megapixels and that's fine with me because once you get it over to the, your iPad you can do all your editing and everything so I pressed OK and it says it's sending the files and as you can see over on my iPad it's starting to read those files as well as you can see it does show you the process it shows you the process at the top for each individual photo and then at the bottom it also shows you how many photos in total that you will be transferring and how much not necessarily time you have left over but it gives you a good you know a good calendar to show you how long it's going to take for you to continue transferring stuff so another thing I do notice is that it doesn't like the camera to be too close to the iPad when you're doing this so I'm just going to give them a little bit of distance and let them do their thing I do recommend that you change the settings on your iPad or on your phone as well so that the screen can stay open because I'm not sure if it goes to sleep will it stop transferring I don't recall I think at one point it did but then it didn't so don't quote me on that again but that's pretty much the gist of how to transfer your photos from your camera over to your smartphone your iPad whatever you have um, if you have any other questions in regards to this definitely let me know down in the comments down below or if you want me to do a blog post with this information but more in depth going one by one because remember I am a little sick I might be sounding like I'm rushing through it I hope this did help some of you guys that that was interested in knowing this information to the young lady in the real women of YouTube we was discussing this and she actually requested the video so I hope this helps you so yeah guys that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and until next time beauties I'll catch you on the next one bye y'all